This is a beginner Blender Python tutorial where we'll be going over a Python script that generates a random color and applies it to a plane. Hey, I'm Victor Stepanoff. I'll be guiding you through this beginner Blender Python tutorial. Let's get started. So let's open Blender and navigate to the scripting workspace. Hit new right here. And I'm gonna paste in some comments for us to fill in. All right, I'm gonna clear the scene. And that will be that. All right, so the very first thing that we usually do in any Python script is we import BPY. This gives Python the ability to press Blender's buttons and run Blender's commands to manipulate the scene. Next, we will need to import random. So this is a Python module that allows Python to generate random numbers. So we'll be using that in just a bit. Next, we need to add a plane that we're gonna be adding uh, the material to with the random color. So let's hover over the 3D viewport and hit Shift A and then add plane. All right, uh, let's copy this command from the info panel right below and add it right underneath uh, this uh, comment. All right. All right, next we need to get a reference to this active object. And we can find that in the interactive Python console by typing in BPY context and then active object. All right, that active object is our plane. And we're gonna use this uh, right here to create a new variable to reference our plane. So I'm gonna create a new variable by typing in a name equals and then assigning uh, the value of the active object uh, to this plane variable right here. So let's clear the scene and let's run our script. So we can see that uh, this script uh, just runs imports BPY, imports random. You don't really see that because nothing really changes in uh, Blender scene in particular. But this this right here, we can see this. You can see it right in the center of the uh, scene where the plane appears. Okay, next we need to start generating a random color. And to do that, let's look at the color picker. Let's add a new material to this selected plane. I'm gonna hit new right here, and I'm gonna scroll down and select this base color right here. I'm gonna just move it so we can see it better. So I'm gonna select this, and I'm gonna uh, select the RGB right here. So, and notice how uh, the RGB goes between zero and one, right? So you can see how all these values change as I move the color picker, right? And this is what exactly we will need to do. We will need to get some kind of function that's gonna generate these values, right? All right, let's move this back. And to do this, we will need to use the random module. Let's uh, copy this import right here and go into the interactive Python console. So I'm gonna type in random and then uh, random. So the random module has a function called random and you can uh, write it like so, so random.random .random, and uh, you can run it and you can see the exact value that it returns. I can repeat this multiple times. Uh, I'm repeating by hitting the up arrow on my keyboard and hitting enter. So as you can see, the value is between 0.0, .0 and 1.0. Another thing to notice is when we are changing the color right here, uh, you can see the info panel gives us a value of like how to actually change that color. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna delete everything except the very, very end. And this is exactly what we would need uh, to uh, create on our own. So I'm gonna 
set color. And these four values right here are R, G, B, and then alpha. So let's create a variables that will contain the R, G, B values. Red, and remember we just did this random generation. I'm just gonna copy this function call and add it like so. So we need one for uh, green, and then we need one for blue, and then one for alpha. I'm going to set that to uh, point, a 1.0, and let's just copy these values right here. course I can leave uh, this alpha or this value right here but I like to document things so this looks exactly uh, like if you look at this in a week or a month in a year you can clearly see that okay these four uh, values mean something in particular and especially uh, like the last one even though it's always going to be in this particular case always going to be 1.0 and we can actually just copy this code right here and paste it into the interactive Python console, like so. So now, if I take a look at the contents of the color variable, it will contain random values. Let's just, I'm gonna paste that again and hit enter, and then I'm just gonna look at the color again. And you can see that we are getting different values each time we run this code. Okay, next we need to create a new material. And to do that, we'll need to use the new function in the material. So it's gonna look like this. So BPY data materials and then new. And I can hit tab after I open the parentheses and it'll give me uh, some documentation that, oh, if you wanna add a new material, uh, you need to specify the name. So I'm gonna set the name to test and then I'm going to assign this to a material or a variable called mat. So now we have a material that is uh, that we can reference with this variable mat and we're going to be setting the uh, diffuse uh, color in particular. Okay now let's uh, just copy this over right here. I'm going to just maybe use the full name the material and then we need the diffuse and color and then I'm going to set the color variable right here that we just created let's, let's pick a better name uh, for this material I'm going to uh, set it to random material and Okay, that looks good. And now finally we need to assign this new material to our plane. And we're gonna use that by using our reference to our plane. Then use data, the materials, and then append. And uh, since you can have multiple materials assigned to an object, uh, or appending to a list of materials. Uh, we can just use uh, this append and add our material that we just created. So let's delete everything from the scene and run the script. All right, that generated a plane and a color and let's make sure that it's actually random. Let's delete everything and run the script again. And as you can see, we're getting a random color each time. Let's do that one more time. All right. I hope you learned something new today. And if you didn't, make sure to give a like for this video. It will help me tremendously. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.